you must be feeling pretty chuffed with yourself because I think you predicted it was going to come down somewhere near Cheltenham and you were right. Yeah, exactly. Yeah. Now, you say this hasn't happened for about 30 years, but I actually wouldn't know what a piece of meteor looked like if I fell over it. So what should we be looking out for? Great, thanks very much. Thank you. To other news now, and coronavirus infection rates are continuing to fall dramatically across the West Midlands. The region now has an average rate of 75 cases per 100,000 people. And to give you some idea of context, a month ago that figure was up at 326. Our science correspondent David Gregory Kumar is with me once again. You've been analysing these figures, haven't you, David? With schools returning, these mm. sort of figures, are, you know, a good sign, aren't they? They are a good sign. Stay at home. And you are happy to answer viewers' questions on tomorrow's programme. Yes, any questions at all, <laughs> send them in, we'll do our best. Covid-related, preferably. Yes, preferably. Yes, OK. Still in lockdown, that's the message. David, thanks very much. Well, a big change in the next few weeks and months will be a return to work for many. A psychologist is warning that employers must start helping their workers become fit to do the job again after lockdown. Change in the last 12 months has also prompted a new business venture for Verity Heart from Shropshire, looking to support people returning to more normal ways of work. I spoke to them both about the kind of issues people will face. A record number of complaints have been made to the Environment Agency over the past three weekends about the smell coming from a landfill site in Staffordshire. Air quality monitoring units have been installed close to Wallis Quarry in Newcastle-under-Lyme in response to community concerns. And this afternoon, the local MP presented a new bill in Parliament calling for changes to the law governing landfill sites. Laura May McMullen has the details. To sport and the 12-time women's world snooker champion, Rianne Evans, will turn professional from the start of the coming season. It's what's been described as a huge moment for women's snooker. The Dudley-based player has been given a two-year tour card, which means she'll compete head-to-head -head with male players at the highest level. Louisa Curry has been speaking to her. The most... Yeah, good luck to Rianne. Now, how about this for dedication to duty? A special constable with West Midlands Police has clocked up half a century of service. Mike Rogers is now head of the force's volunteer specials, a role he combines with his day job of being a lawyer. His wife through his work, as she used to be a special constable too. Joanne Riddle has been to meet him. The sister... Now, I hope you managed to enjoy the sunshine today because, Shafali, I think you have news of a change on the way. A big change, yes. Thank you very much, Mary. It's until three o'clock. Gosh, that does look pretty lively. Shafali, thank you. And that is all from the Midlands Today team for now. I'll be back with your late news at half past ten. Have a good evening. Bye.